When you enter the conflict phase, you see this timeline. It's a slot represents a conflict opportunity. First, my opponent plays the political conflict and you can see this marker which is red. That means that I lost that conflict. Then I passed my conflict opportunity. My opponent did the same. And now I have a new opportunity to declare a conflict. The maximum number of remaining conflicts at a given time is given by the number of unclaimed rings. So there are four unclaimed rings and there could happen up to four conflicts. This black marker sets the last conflict that will be played before proceeding with the glory count. Normally the total number of conflicts to be played is four, two for each player. But card effects may change this number. So you can adjust this marker as needed. During your conflict opportunity, you can declare a new conflict, pass, or switch roles with your opponent. This last option is used for some card effects that let you declare more than one conflict in a row. To declare a new conflict, drop an unclaimed ring on a province Set the conflict type Then move the attacking characters from your home area to your conflict area Don't forget to use covert when possible Then press the attack button and wait for your opponent to declare defenders. The attack province card was already face up. So now it's just my opponent's turn. Let's take a look here. This is a conflict summary which indicates the total skill of each player, the difference, and if the province will be broken. So he has placed a supernatural storm on his Fusui disciple, who gets a military and political bonus equal to the number of Sugenjas he, con he controls, which is three. You can see here that we are not breaking this province anymore. So let's see if we can do something to, to change this. I'm going to play Bansai and I'm going to give the bonification to my Dissecker. So I'm going to play this action twice. and lose one honor. 
you can see that now again we are raking the province. Now, just end my turn. So he has passed and I'm going to pass too. Now we both have to confirm the conflict result. Okay, you can see this notification over here. That's because this character has pride. So since I have won this conflict, now this character is honored. Now it's time to break the province. You can do it with the notification menu. So select this option and wait for your opponent's confirmation. Now I can apply the, the ring effect, but since I selected the water ring, I can't really do anything useful. So I'm going just to, to continue. And claim the ring. I can do it manually, just dropping the ring on my claim ring container, but Normally it's better to use this blue button, which means that it's going to automatically complete this, this action described over here. If for any reason you want to, to skip these steps, then you can use the red button. So now I have my, my ring over here. And that's all for this conflict. All the attacking characters have returned home, both. So after this action window, we just proceed with the glory count.